Today we're here with Abigail Green. I'm Dr. Chong with Reveal Wellness, and we wanted to take an opportunity today with Abigail to let her share her experience that she's had with Reveal Wellness and what we've done with her. So today is exactly one week from when her and I first met. Um, Abigail's not from the area, and so her soon-to-be uh, father-in-law uh, is a friend of mine and reached out and said, hey, can you give her a hand and help her out? She's having some troubles. And I said, sure, John, I'll do that for you. And uh, so we had a chance to meet and sit down and go through her past health history and come up with some ideas that were maybe contributing to some of the problems or the symptoms she was experiencing. And so it was kind of cool because, you know, she had some background with getting some chiropractic care in the past. She's been an athlete for years and had some injuries. And we just wanted to kind of uncover the story and figure out what are the, some contributing factors that were developing the problems that she was coming in with coming into the office with because she hadn't done anything in this particular case or any type of trauma or injury or accident. She was coming because I believe you woke up with some discomfort. Mm -hmm. Is that yeah, right? I am, yeah. So I'll let you go ahead and share what your experience has been since you've been here and tell your story. Give some background to people that might not um, really associate uh, chiropractic care or wellness care um, with going to the chiropractor. Yeah, awesome. So the night before um, I came in and met with Dr. Chong, um, I was having mild neck pain and kind of like a, a headache that was kind of targeting the back of my head. Uh, I do suffer from like chronic headaches kind of randomly. Um, I usually just equate that with dehydration, but <laughs> sometimes when I'm even hydrated enough, um, I'm still kind of getting them. So anyway, I had a, a little bit of neck pain going to bed and then I woke up in the morning and it was pretty excruciating. My head was pounding. I could barely, I was like, turning like this because I couldn't even really pull my neck around. There was tightness here and here, and it was almost radiating down um, to my lower back as well. Um, kind of like milder, like duller yep. pain I was getting. I remember. Yeah. That's <laughs> okay. a common posture I've yeah. people come to the office with. They're really robotic. Yeah, so, exactly. Very familiar. So, so I have kind of, over the past few years, I had seen a couple of chiropractors for this exact pr problem. Like, I would wake up one morning and like I couldn't take the pain anymore, like it was excruciating. So I would kind of go in and um, I was thinking it, thinking of it as like an easy solution, kind of like a crack and go. Like I get, <laughs> I'd get realigned and yeah. then I would be done until the next time. Quick fix. Happened. Quick fix. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So. Um, Go to the crack house. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> People would say, can you crack me? I'm like, this is yeah. not a crack house. I'm like, that's, I'm that's, like, that's what they believe. That's yeah. what they've been told, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It, was, it really truly is just like crack and go. Like I went in, I would go in and I would say, okay, I'm having pain right here. And they kind of readjust my neck. Not even really like adjust like my gait or anything like that. Or, right, or my, assess those yeah, things. Not, right. like, not even assess them. So just kind of truly like a crack and go. And, I always thought that's just kind of how chiropractic worked. Like, <laughs> I was like, I think that's all it is. Like, you just go, they realign you, and then they get you out of there. Yeah. Um, you shake your magic wand. Exactly. Make, the, make, the, make the symptoms exactly. go away. It's like, you go and you go. I never went back to the same chiropractor. Like, I never, like, there was never any reason. Like, nothing no, nothing ever really stuck with me. Right. Um, anyway, so I come in and start talking about my health history. And over the last two years, I've sustained a couple injuries from skiing. Uh, I had broken my elbow um, two Aprils ago, and then I had recently torn my ACL this past winter. Um, so Dr. <laughs> Chong at this point was like, I thought I was just doing a quick, a quick, yeah. a quick crack. Like, yeah. Clearly there's some other issues going on here. And then I started explaining to them that I have chronic headaches and that my shoulders are not just once in a while tight, they're always tight. and I, feel like there's like a shooting pain in the middle of my neck right. pretty much every day if I think about it. Um, I also at this particular day was like having a little bit of like chest pain and just right. like right. a general feeling of discomfort. Sure. Like that's like pretty much what that's I because yeah, yeah. I was like just feeling like my whole body, like I just felt uncomfortable. Like right. the way I was explaining it to Alex was that my, um, my boyfriend went, it was that my, um, I felt like there was like bricks like pressing against sure. every part of my body. So. Dr. Chong was like, clearly there's some other issues going on here. I really think we should get some pictures, some x-rays of your neck and see what we're working with, which I had never even heard of. Like I've been to so many physical therapists. I've been to so many, a couple different chiropractors and I just didn't even know that was something that you did at the chiropractor. So I was like, yeah, I'll do anything at this point. Um, so we took some pictures and 
without even knowing like what looked right and what looked wrong, <laughs> like before it was explained to me, I was like, that looks wrong. Something <laughs> that's looks wrong right. with that. So if, if you want to kind of explain yeah, the so, difference of the curves and the neck, I feel like that's... Well, what really happens well. is when she comes in the office or when any patient comes in the office, we go through a health history. We want to see what's bringing them into the office and do a little further investigation. So we'll determine the, the course of examination we, we travel down to get more information, to put together the best care plan for them to correct the problem. And it's not always a structural problem. It could be, like she said, it could be a chemical problem. She could have some dehydration that was contributing to the headaches. She could have some emotional things that were going on that she's stressed out, which is not very uncommon right now. Mm -hmm. So we really have to, to be an investigator and work with one another through questions and answers and asking the right questions to really determine what path we want to travel down to really get to the source of the problem, not just treat the effects and treat the symptoms. So clearly based on her history that she presented with me, it really challenged me to think there's something underlying here going on that we should probably take some films. And that's not necessarily the case with all patients, but in her situation, that was the case. You know, Abby's only 24 years old, and the, the degree of injury that she sustained were very impactful to her spine. So when I just did a postural examination and had her go through some motion, we looked at how the skeletal structure had been distorted. And then me as a chiropractor for, well, be going on 18 years, I had an, an idea that based on what she was presenting with, there's some, there's some structural things going on that we better investigate a little further. So we were able to take the photographs um, to see what's going on and, and give her a chance to better understand her body and how everything works together globally um, that's causing her body some dysfunction and you know she's only 24 so you know she's going to continue being active and we want to make sure that she's able to do what she wants to do and enjoy because if she doesn't it just stirs up all kinds of other health problems and later on yeah so it gave me a good opportunity to go through and explain some things to her about her health and wellness and more more importantly her nervous system and how it runs and regulates everything so if the structure the, the spinal structures are off the nervous system's not getting the information from the brain to the body, then from the body back to the brain in a fashion that's the most efficient way for her body to function so she can optimally do what her body's designed to do. And so it gave us a good, good insight on that and an opportunity to educate you a little bit. Yeah, you know? no, I, I just, I feel like I've learned so much like about my body and like thinking about the spine as an entity that keeps everything together and has everything working together rather than just being like, oh, my neck hurts. My upper, my upper neck is just the thing that's hurting and that's it. Like the rest of like, yep, it's like my elbow. Like, yeah, exactly, yep, compartmentalized, yep. exactly. Yeah. So as you're saying, just like learning that it, it all is affected globally and also that just that there's like longevity to it and almost like from like what I was kind of understanding is that, okay, it, like it was the ACL and then it was the elbow, but it also could have been getting like whiplash in the car and like things like that. And like all this stuff kind of like piling on top of each other. Yeah. I'm kind of like, the way I picture it is like, it's almost piling down on your spine and, and then it's hurting the rest of your body and um, kind of slowing down the messages that the rest of your body needs to hear. 100%. Um, so right. then it's hard to trace back. I love this yeah. listening to you. Yeah. So I, I feel like I did a good job. <laughs> no, like she, really she's she's coming in here. You know, she's from yeah, where Boston. Are you from? Yeah, right? Boston, Massachusetts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, okay. Yeah. And I'm forgetting <laughs> that she's not because I almost feel like knowing her for a week, like she's local. Yeah. But she's coming from some other place and a yeah. different paradigm as well. And so it just give an opportunity for us and you know the short time that we've been to, together to really hone in on some things that she was misinformed about. And so now she walks away with a lot more value and understanding as we work with her um, the time that she has here to get her down and get her structure recalibrated and get her system balanced yeah. so that she can enjoy things at a different level than she did before. Yeah. And giving her some tools that she can take with her back home and share with her family and friends as well. Because I hear so oftentimes people come in, I just have a normal headache. That's on their health history. Just normal headaches. Yeah, that's Headaches aren't normal. That's <laughs> not a normal thing. But they get so accustomed to the abnormal being normal and they accept that. And then they use different mechanisms yeah. or different chemicals to alter or suppress those things so they can continue going through life on a, a physical level, but chemically suppressing and causing damage to their organs and the rest of their body. Yeah, exactly. I feel like that's what I would do. Like, I would just like kind of suppress the pain. I'm like, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. Don't do anything about it. And then you kind of just become like numb to it and it, it's sure. like not a problem anymore, but it is still clearly affecting your body. And I think now that I'm I'm on a schedule right now where this is my fifth visit, so like every other day I've been coming in, and you can I've truly been able to feel like 
different things in my body kind of like shift and pop and kind of like get back into place. And those, every every shift, I feel so much better, so. Yeah. Changes, yeah. yeah, transformation really. Yeah. And causing the dynamics to change the mechanics for her. Yeah. And that's, that's really the, the biggest takeaway I would assume that you'd be taking here back with you when you go home. Um, to looking at things differently, but not only that, helping other people. Yeah, exactly. Because they wouldn't know this. And that's the reason we're making this video today for you all, is to share with you another resource that you may not have considered before that really determines how your body is functioning, not just to treat symptoms. Because so many people just come short, they just, they don't know where to go, and they think, they, they label a certain profession, whether it's PT, chiropractic, massage, acupuncture, um, nutrition, diet, um, and, and compartmentalize those individuals and the categories of what they're able to offer. And I believe, uh, you know, from our conversations, yeah. what you're sharing today and I'm hearing is that your mind is open up to understand and I did my job. Yeah, definitely. And, and it, I want to share that with the rest of the yeah. people and that was the purpose of doing this. So they know there's a resource for them to come to for all those things, health and wellness. Yeah. And so I believe we've achieved that goal. Um, we're gonna continue moving forward while she's here and just keep on adding new things for her to add to her life and her healthy lifestyle that she's tr trying to embrace yeah. and being able to be the, the best version of you, right? Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, there's just even little simple changes like things I can do for 15 minutes a day that Dr. Sean is explaining to me that I will, I'll do it for the rest of my life. Like that'll just become part of my routine rather than letting everything like stay awesome. on top of each other. That's, you know, a great investment. Yeah. And so many people look at those things like, oh, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do that. But then they see when they don't do those things or do other things mm -hmm. incorrectly, they're causing a lot of challenges to come up later because mm -hmm. they just compound. I mean, she's only had 24 years on this earth and she's already had a lot of damage from the lifestyle she lives, but we don't have to allow those to hit.